So in this video, I'm going to share about how much cash flow I'm making from all my rental properties together and also will be sharing about each individual property, how much I bought it for, how much rent it's making, what are the expenses, how much is the cash flow from each individual property and all those details. Stay tuned. Namaskar. Welcome back to my channel. This is Aditya Soma. I'm a real estate agent, real estate investor, and also I have a team, Win City Real Estate team here in Windsor, Ontario, where we help buy, sell, invest in and around Windsor, Ontario. If you've been following me, do me a small favor, smash that like button for algorithm purpose. And let's jump into right into the content. What I said is about my cash flow. How much cash flow this real estate properties are really making because you know i know a lot of people have questions like oh can i really have financial freedom through rental properties if that's your question then you know make sure you check this video till the end because at the end i'm going to show exactly the total amount of cash flow i'm making so let's start with my first rental property so this property is located in east windsor and it's a single family home I bought it for 200,000 and currently it's making $1,800 and tenants pay for their own utilities. So I pay for mortgage, I pay for insurance, property tax and management fees. So after all expenses, I'm making $331 on this property. And the second property that I have is a duplex. This is located in downtown Windsor. So this property I purchased for 168,000 which is again in 2017 uh, right now it's a you know duplex like I mentioned three bedroom three bedroom units and it's making $2,650 and the mortgage payment you can see because it's, it's pretty small mortgage and I already refinanced it um, that's after refinancing because I have a HELOC I haven't used that HELOC yet maybe once I use the HELOC the mortgage payment will go up for now it's $633 and the expenses you can see there 150 for insurance property tax 227 dollars hot water tank i have I, I installed all the hot water tanks two hot water tanks rental and that's my rental fees and water bills i pay for only uh, water and the tenants pay for hydro and gas so that's my water bill 180 and the management fees so after all the expenses, I'm making $1,256.11 cash flow on this property. I know it's pretty good, right? Again, these two properties, the first one and the second one are on my personal name. So all the cash flow is for me. So, so my total personal cash flow so far from my personal properties is $1,587.77. Again, I do have my primary residence. I'm not taking any cash flow into account because I'm living in it. And I also have two pre-constructions that are still in the construction phase, which I already made a good amount of equity, which I'll talk in other videos. So those are the five properties I have on my personal name. Um, now let's go into the properties that I have with my partners. So the third property, which is the cash flowing property, the duplex. So this one I purchased for 141,000 again in 2017. And this property, is also rented fully um, each unit two bedroom two bedroom again this is much nicer unit in an in a walkerville location in windsor so that is rented for two thousand six hundred and fifty dollars per month and i have a mortgage payment around thousand um, dollars i have an insurance payment property taxes hot water tank and the water bills i pay for water bill um, and the management fees so after all those expenses I'm making $896.84 cash flow on this property. Again, I'm talking about net cash flow. And another single family home that I own with a partner. This one we purchased in again 2018, January or February, somewhere around there. We purchased for $101,000. Um, again, this property is located in West Windsor. Um, currently, I already refinanced this property. Um, the current mortgage is 241,000. That's the reason you see even same thing with the previous property. I already refinanced. So that's why the mortgage payments are actually increased. Um, and the current rent 
on this property it's a single family it's 1500 plus utilities so tenants are paying for hydro water and gas and i pay for my mortgage insurance property tax and management fees so of course the management fees actually includes even the expenses anything that they have for that month it's the average fees i put in there so average of the whole year so the total cash flow on this one is 139 dollars plus 75 cents of course the cash flow on this property is much lower because i refinanced this property and pulled away more money than what we put into it and the next property i have this one is located in east windsor as well it's a single family home and this one currently rented for 1725 dollars per month um, the tenant pays for all the utilities again this one i purchased for 185000 um, in 2018 as well and i already refinanced it uh, pulled more than enough money that i put into it that's why you see the current mortgage is 260065 dollars so the mortgage payments you will see there 943 dollars so after all the expenses if you go to the cash flow 393 dollars 66 cents and the next one this is my favorite property of all which is 17 unit building this one is located in downtown area um, not too far from university uh, again my favorite one because it's a purpose-built 17 unit building so when i bought it i bought it for 1 million 300 thousand but there were like six five units vacant and a very very rough shape and all other units are rented for like half the excuse me half the market rents and tenants the owner is paying for all the utilities and it's a baseboard heating so now again a lot of work in progress right now we have finished renovating six units we got another tenant out and plus the five units we got vacant so it's been like eight months we've been working constantly on that and a lot of money put into it so far and i haven't refinanced it so with the current mortgage and the current uh, mortgage payment so right now the rent we are getting is twelve thousand. again this ex excludes actually two units uh, this report was made a couple of days ago those two units are also rented so right now the total rent is over fourteen thousand, and we are making a cash flow around 841 dollars plus the vacant units that um, my assistant forgot to put in because they were already uh, rented like i mentioned so 841 plus 2590 so that's our cash flow over 3400 ish somewhere around there so pretty good cash flow on this one but again right now still we haven't even tapped into full potential because we have 17 units we only so far um, got the market rents on six units we have another 10 units if we can get maybe another three or four units to the market rents we're gonna make a, a solid cash flow on this building i'm super excited for this one and i'm pretty sure now if we refinance even just with the current rents uh, we will be able to pull out all our money it's been less than a year we bought it last year december so um, cannot wait for that refinance probably i'll be sharing more um, about this building in future videos if you haven't checked out those that property tour i actually have the tour and also i have a video about uh, how i got the mortgage and all those things in other videos so go check out that and the next one with another partner is a single family home again located in walkerville area so this one a horrible story i actually thought it's going to be a duplex that's how i bought it and then later we figure out it's a single family and i was debating whether to add as adu or you know just keep it as is but at the end i just kept it as is single family and the, um, we purchased for 246000 last year um, currently it's already rented for $2000 plus utilities so we haven't refinanced it this is the refinance in progress we are because we rented out just a, a month ago and right now we're in the process the refinances are taking so long um, even the renovations on this one took so long so because there were so many work orders and you know so many problems i actually have a video tour about this property specifically talking about what are the challenges that i went through in this property um, you can go check out there um, but 
again still the property has a single family still making 688 dollars positive cash flow and if i refinance and pull our equity out my investors money probably we will still will be making around 400 dollars cash flow but for now that's a cash flow and the last property is a triplex uh, located near university it's not too far from university but it's a triplex it's a, like you know uh, upper unit main floor and lower unit unit in the basement so this one we purchased for four hundred and thirty five thousand and seven fifty dollars um, and currently it's all rented out three thousand five hundred and forty five dollars we are making so the three bedroom is rented for twelve fifty because that's the only one that is older tenant and the two bedroom unit in the main floor is rented for fourteen fifty all inclusive and the basement it's a bachelor unit rented for eight ninety all inclusive so that's on that one we are making a pretty good cash flow you can see fifteen hundred and sixty five dollars and this one we purchased actually not too long ago it's just uh, right when that covid situation hit the second time which is in last uh, uh, i believe in march uh, 2021 so to summarize the total cash flow i'm making including with the partners is seven thousand one hundred and fifteen dollars six fifty six cents but out of that my share is like total from the partnership properties is three thousand five hundred and fifty seven dollars and seventy six cents and add up with my personal properties together i'm making five thousand one hundred and forty five dollars fifty six cents which is like the reason i'm so happy to see that number and this is the first time i actually did my calculations of my cash flow and i was so happy because this was my less than my it, this is more than my annual income my monthly income when i was a software engineer so it took me to get to this cash flow so technically right now i'm financially free because that 5000 is good enough for me to live off of that every month of course i won't do that but just to give you a synopsis how you know uh, um, if you're consistent and if you're constantly um, getting the right properties and and making sure you know you're running the business smoothly this is how you can get to and it took me just four years to get to this place maybe another four years down by i i might be at 15 20 000 cash flow because now it's a compounding effect so to summarize man yes real estate the rental properties can really give you a financial freedom that's true and by this you can see it and with that i'm gonna sign off thank you so much for watching till here um, any questions any comments please make sure you leave in the comments below i will answer all those questions personally um, and if you liked it smash that like button until then see you in the next videos have a wonderful day